before we get to today's episode, we'd just like to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. Millions of years ago, this giant sea scorpion terrorized the ocean. It was the apex predator of its time. So what if we brought it into the modern day and had it fight another giant sea predator, the killer whale? How would this giant scorpion compare to a killer whale? Would the killer whale's intelligence factor into the battle? Or would the scorpion's deadly claws give it the edge? This is what if, and here's what would happen if a giant sea scorpion fought a killer whale. The killer whale, or orca, is one of the modern sea's deadliest creatures. Weighing in at 5,500 kilograms and 10 meters in length, this mammal can take on almost anything in the ocean. But don't count out the giant scorpion just yet. After all, the killer whale has never faced something like this before. It's the largest scorpion ever and is bigger than humans at two and a half meters in length. And the killer whale better watch out for the scorpion's incredibly powerful claws. Now let's begin the fight. The killer whale would start the battle off its game. That's because these creatures are used to hunting in packs and ganging up on their prey, but it eventually gains its bearing and it's now ready to take on the scorpion. Since the orca is much bigger than the giant sea scorpion, it looks like it's trying its best to avoid the orca as much as possible. Unfortunately, that doesn't work for long since the killer whale uses echolocation to understand its surroundings. This makes it virtually impossible for the sea scorpion to avoid the killer whale much longer. The orca searches around using its echolocation and eventually spots the sea scorpion. Now, the killer whale is approaching the scorpion at 55 kilometers per hour. The orca approaches his opponent and is violently jabbed at and sliced by the scorpion's claws. Since the sea scorpion wasn't a very smart creature back in its day, it doesn't know where to attack this massive beast. And because of that, the killer whale only gets a couple of scratches. But now, instead of continuing to fight, the whale goes up for air. Now, the killer whale and the sea scorpion are going to rest up for a bit while I talk to you about this episode's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the ultimate all-in-one tool to build the perfect website. Seriously, if you want to start a business, build a portfolio, or share your music, now's the time to do it. And what better way to do it than with Squarespace? You can customize your site whatever way you like with their stunning templates and easy-to-use tools. Squarespace makes it incredibly simple to import video and audio and add social media integrations with just a few clicks. So if you need a home for all your creative projects and ideas, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com slash what if to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, now let's start round two. After the killer whale has gotten some air, it comes back down for round two. And it looks like the scorpion has hidden once again, but that won't stop the orca. It quickly uses its echolocation to spot the scorpion and approaches its opponent once again. Since the orca is so well known for using its brain rather than its brute strength for hunting, we know it's learned from its previous battle with the sea scorpion. The whale doesn't hesitate and instantly bites the scorpion's arms. After wrestling with it for a short time, the whale's deadly jaws manage to snap off the scorpion's arm. Now the scorpion is severely battered and bruised. It attempts to attack with its good arm, but the whale smashes it down with its fin and goes in for the final blow. So although this giant scorpion dominated the ocean millions of years ago, it looks like our modern day apex predator is the ultimate victor. I wonder how this whale would fare against a megalodon shark if it were living in the modern day. Well, we'll leave that story for another What If.